we we were all we also told you that we will always look for for other alternatives that are less costly to save money to our uh, our district. So in uh, in that matter, we uh, we think we have found a solution that uh, that is uh, uh, less uh, less expensive and will uh, satisfy the goals of increased uh, flow and pressure. Next slide. Okay, so uh, again, our goal is to provide the best solution for the fire flow and water pressure at the best cost, and uh, and um, and we uh, the board will choose an alternative and, and determine how to implement it with the EQ approval. And then we we want uh, we want your your comment. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that uh, everybody uh, knows what we're doing and. Uh, and has has a comment or say in it. Um, uh, that way, we know how you feel. Uh, you know what uh, what our plans are, and uh, and if you think there is something else out there, then uh, then uh, by all means, you can let us know. But I think uh, we've come up with a pretty good uh, solution, and uh, um, and we want to we want to present it to you. So uh, although um, he was approved. Uh, we found this uh, this uh, uh, different uh, method, and uh, uh, Keller did a water mo modeling study on it. I don't think we did a, mo uh, a study on um, on alternative E, but uh, uh, JUB had uh, given us a. Uh, I think they gave us a slide that showed, you know, what they thought the uh, pressures would be. So. Uh, um, uh, we, 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 we like what this, this alternative would do. Uh, and, um, uh, as, and then after we, you know, after we started looking at alternative E, there were uh, some emissions in the, uh, in the project that we thought were there. And so, uh, when you look at those emissions, uh, they wouldn't have solved the problem for, for like the uh, Drillmore area, there were a couple of sections that were left off, and then uh, there was also uh, uh, the section of line from uh, the uh, tank uh, to the uh, to the main distribution line that was left off that we thought was in there. So that ended up uh, for alternative E to be a a truly viable solution. We would have had to put in uh, some additional funds for that. Okay. Uh, um, did uh, Ted? Did you want to talk a little bit about how we developed Alternative F? Or well, sure. I'll. I'll uh, the, the first thing I I looked at was why wasn't uh, Dromore working, and it came up with the factor of uh, Dromore. The, the entire Dromore district was being served by a two-inch pipe. No bigger than that, and uh, and there's no way that, that we would ever get the service out of it. So that got me thinking, and and uh, we have Bayview has perfect drinking water, some of the best in the world, and we have lots of it, and we have a main line flowing through the center of town, uh, uh, an eight-inch line. And it's capable of delivering a lot more uh, water than what it is. And and I, I, I we just looked at it and and uh, presented uh, uh, the alternative uh, F to to our uh, uh, engineers, and they said that yes, it would correct all the problems that we have uh, in uh, and. Even after doing all this, and and it, ninety percent of the citizens of Bayview are not going to notice any difference in their delivery of water. So we're 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 addressing the 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 uh, faults in the system as they exist now, and uh, how to correct those faults. That's. That's about it. Hey. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ted. 
So let's move on to alternative E. So this is alternative E. And so uh, uh, as you can, well, let's go to the next page. Okay, so uh, when you look at alternative E, um, we found out that, um, that uh, uh, there was a section uh, D5 and D6 that were, were left out, the costs were left out of the, the budget. So go back to the, uh, to the previous page. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at the top, you can see uh, where D5 and D6 are. And those, those sections of, of, uh, of uh, distribution, were not, uh, the costs were not included. They, they were included in the design but they were not in, not included in the uh, in the cost, so uh, uh, that w that was kind of troubling to us. And then down down here uh, at D seven, from the tank to the distribution, that also wasn't included in the cost. And that you know that part really was a, a major you know that was what we thought we were getting it was uh, was all that line where we think we're we're losing a lot of water, so. Uh, uh, when when you uh, look at that, you know there there's uh, there's three sections of line that uh, that weren't included in the cost that uh, that put us well over our three point four million dollar budget. So if you go to the uh, next slide for alternative F, oh I'm sorry, okay oh okay so this is the uh, this is what JUB gave us for. For the uh, flows uh, with the 12 inch, uh, after everything is said and done. So as you can see, uh, you've got uh, good pressure here where the pink is, but uh, it's still out in Drillmore. You've got uh, you've got marginal and and uh, and uh, 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 poor poor performance out there. So um, uh, that you know it uh, because of those uh, those sections of line that D. 5d6 that we're missing uh, you know we weren't ever going to get uh, good flows and we would have had to do uh, another project uh, or two projects to uh, to get those things re replaced okay let's okay so this is a uh, alternative F and so uh, alternative F is at uh, at uh, where uh, or the the red circle is in the, uh, the upper center that's where the uh, the booster station is for Cape Horn, and so uh, the plan is is to tap into the line from that booster station and run it up to uh, run it up to uh, to Cape Horn Road, and then uh, put in the uh, the two sections of piping that were 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 not uh, were not uh, included. Now I, I'm not sure, Kyle. Uh, you might want to say, tell my, tell us where the uh, the new booster station is because we have to put in another booster station to uh, to uh, uh, from the Cape Horn to, to to provide the pressure and flow for the for that line. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the one of the reasons why this is a pretty straightforward approach is we're using a lot of district's existing infrastructure to kind of help boost the pressure. So that existing booster station is going to be placed adjacent to the Cape Horn booster station and might even be a part of that same structure. Um, so we're going to look to, you know, save costs and um, utilize some of the existing facility as well as kind of expanding that and um, in, in increasing the local pressures in that area. Kyle, is that a 12-inch line that's going to run up there from the booster station up to Cape Horn? You know, I don't remember. I want to say it's a, either a 10 or a 12. I believe yeah. it is a 12. Yes, correct. I think it was a 12. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Mm -hmm. It's a short run, but it's going to improve. It, it's really providing distribution not only to the Dromore area to the east, but then also it's increasing pressures there on the west side as well. Right. And, and additionally to that, uh, instead of a, a six inch line running along Cape Horn, we're gonna run an eight inch line, which, which will give us uh, the better flow. And that, you know, that, that, that uh, uh, the six inch would give us, 
It, it may give us enough flow, but it, it's it pretty marginal. But the 8-inch will definitely give us uh, the sufficient flow for any kind of firefighting needs that, we, that we'll have. And, and then, uh, and then, additionally, uh, alternative F will include the uh, the line from uh, from the uh, the tank uh, to the uh, to the the distribution. Um, and then, uh, and then, as you can see, uh, this is from the uh, water modeling that uh, that Keller did. And uh, um, well. I, it can see that uh, the water pressure is significantly better than than uh, what what it is now. I mean, uh, you're get you're going to be getting uh, in the Dromore area. You're going to be getting uh, what is it, uh, uh, seventy uh, around seventy six pounds, uh, except for when you get out towards the end, and you're you're over fifty, but uh, uh, you're still um, you're still a lot higher than what. Uh, the minimum requirement is 40 pounds, I believe. Right. So, uh, so, so th this, uh, this, uh, this solution will definitely uh, uh, provide uh, sufficient water pressure and flow for, for, for Bayview. And, and that, that's, that's in our heavy loads. I, I mean, you know, uh, nine months out of the year, there's, there's a lot less demand. Okay. And so, uh, so uh, again, uh, the alternative uh, alternative E uh, uh, improves pressure and fire flow by constructing uh, the twelve inch line, and then other uh, improvements and looping and extension of uh, dead end lines. Uh, the alternative creates a backbone for future growth, which, which you know it it, uh, it it that is. That is a uh, that is a uh, a positive for alternative E is that uh, that uh, that definitely would be a, uh, uh, a a good thing to have uh, for our future you know future needs. But uh, uh, you know, uh, do you want to pay another five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand dollars for that? Uh, I don't. I I certainly don't think uh, most people would go for that. Um, for alternative F, uh, it, it's, it, it has uh, basically most of the uh, most of the uh, alternative F is alternative E, except for we don't have the 12-inch line, and then uh, then we're connecting to the uh, to the Cape Horn booster. We're increasing the uh, the Cape Horn line to eight inch, and uh, and we're connecting uh, the uh, the tank. Uh, to the um, or we're placing the uh, the line from the tank to the main distribution. Well, and we're we're eliminating the the uh, the uh, uh, Dromore tank, and we're eliminating the Dromore booster station. Right, right. But we were doing we were doing that with alternative E as well. So yeah, but you're right, Ted. We're we we still we still are getting rid of those those two two uh, two issues there. Okay. Uh, the next slide. Okay, so here here is the uh, here is the cost. Now um, uh, we have already spent what is it thirty two thousand dollars, Colleen? Yes, right. Yes, and that's already been paid for. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is the current one, Larry. Do you want yeah. to go to the next one? Well, no, no let, me, let me go back to. Let me okay. Go to this. Okay. So this is this is just the cost. Of the projects, so uh, without taking uh, without taking out uh, uh, the um, uh, the ninety seven thousand dollars for the uh, for the DQ uh, uh, um, the grant grant, and then also not taking account for the the thirty two thousand dollars that we've already spent, so. So you can see that alternative F is is over five hundred thousand dollars cheaper than uh, alternative E, uh, assuming that we include uh, those three uh, projects that uh, that um, that were not accounted for in the cost estimate. Uh, they uh, we uh, alternative F uh, uh, affects less uh, land. Um, 
although it will uh, require uh, maintenance of the additional booster station uh, um, uh, even though we're taking out the uh, the drill more booster station uh, the pumps are significantly bigger than uh, than the uh, uh, than the ones that we have now and I think we have some uh, PRVs uh, that we have to put in the line too so it will have a uh, We'll have some uh, additional uh, maintenance costs, uh, but um, uh, it's still uh, uh, when you uh, include those costs and, and compare them to the um, to the 12 inch line, it's it's still significantly less. Um, it it uh, provides uh, the fire flow that we need for drill more and for for all of. Uh, uh, the area around uh, around the post office, and and, and it does meet our future uh, requirements uh, uh, for any kind of development. Okay, next slide. Okay, so uh, when you look at alternative E, I I, I, I added uh, these uh, these costs in blue. So uh, the, this was the original cost uh, of uh, alternative E. It was. 3.3 million dollars, but when you uh, when you looked at what was left out, there was another 671 thousand dollars in uh, projects that uh, that we still would have had to do to make uh, to make everything work. Okay, next. Okay, so and these are these are the uh, these are the costs for. For uh, alternative apps, so you can see uh, um, uh, the, the, these uh, four down here in the bottom. They are the additional uh, costs that we would uh, 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 do, uh, or the the projects that we would do in, in uh, instead of the uh, twelve inch line. Uh, so it's uh, it's it it probably um, probably. Uh, you know, it, it's about the same cost. It's a little bit more than the original uh, original uh, project E, and uh, it does go over our, uh, our uh, uh, three point four million dollar budget. However, we've already spent thirty two thousand, and I think we're still looking at trying to get uh, some grants, some more grants, and stuff like that. So hopefully, Larry, we actually the. The, the new adjusted cost, if you go to that next slide okay, that Kyle just sent there. over, is actually 3.366. So we are under the 3.4. It was taking the 32 out and adjusting to our new cap. There we go. The new capital cost right. is 3366 now. So we are under the, the bond amount. Right, but but we still had to pay the thirty-two thousand dollars for for improvements that were that we could have uh, we could have um, we could have claimed under the uh, under the uh, the loan because they they were. But we paid for it, correct, out of our own cash. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so we, either way, I mean, uh, I my I was just looking at based on the total cost of the projects and not uh, not any of the. Uh, not any of the uh, the um, uh, credits that we've yeah. already done. Okay, so um, okay, so now uh, when you look at uh, when you look at uh, uh, Project E, uh, originally uh, originally we had a um, a monthly rate of twenty five dollars and um, and ten cents. But what I did was I took the uh, forgiveness out. And uh, that would uh, that would drop that rate to twenty four twenty one, and then less eight dollars that we're already we've already charged uh, it would have increased our cost by sixteen twenty one. Uh, with uh, what what it would actually take to make alternative E a viable project, uh, you know you can see that uh, that we would uh, we would be paying twenty over twenty one dollars. Uh, uh, a month more, and this is this isn't including the uh, thirty-two thousand. So 
that thirty-two thousand, you know, less that thirty-two thousand, it, it would be it would uh, our total cost would be a little bit less than than uh, what uh, these are now. But uh, alternative F is uh, is uh, we, I figured we we're going to be paying a dollar 